Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, I haven't talked to you guys in a hot minute. I've been posting like little makeup tutorials and everything, but I haven't really sat down and actually talked to you guys and bonded with you. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I'm going to do a fun little get ready with me and I'm going to be using my favorite makeup products because i've been receiving so many like amazing makeup products lately and i haven't really shared them with you guys so that's what i'm gonna do today and i'm also gonna give you guys a little life update about everything that's been happening in my life because it's been crazy so yeah hope you guys enjoy the video <laughs> I'm gonna start off with this primer. This primer, you guys, is everything. This is probably one of the best primers that I've ever, ever used on my face. It's the Too Faced Prime and Peachy Primer. Um, it's a cooling matte skin perfecting primer. And I don't even need one pump. I need this much and it covers my whole freaking face. So if you guys are looking for an amazing primer, I would highly suggest this one because it's amazing it does feel like really really cooling it's just it's great i am going to be linking everything that i use in this video down below by the way so if i don't mention everything then you can find it in the description box but yeah, i'm just gonna give you guys a little life update about everything that's been going on um so yeah my life has been really really kind of like crazy the past i don't know three four months Wait, is that the postman? I think it is. Hold on. Um, false alarm, but I am expecting some packages today. So I am on high alert of everything that's happening outside. I'm um, just using the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I love this. I'm in the shade 51WY. Um, yeah, I told you guys I was going to give you a little life update. So my life has been insane the past couple of months. You guys know that I now have my own business. Um, my brand is called GGB Beauty and we currently sell vegan and cruelty-free luxury fake eyelashes. <laughs> wow. But yeah, I did start my own brand. You guys know that I've made like multiple videos on that already. Um, but we are so freaking busy with the next launch of products. So this is actually the first time that I'm talking about this on camera with you guys so if you see this video you are the first to know so yeah we are working on the second launch of products and it's been so stressful because you just never know what's gonna happen like everything seems like if everything if everything goes perfect it's like you just know like something has to go wrong if that makes sense like we had some difficulties with the factory that the products were made in and then obviously covid came and just fucked this whole thing up so it has been quite stressful but hopefully we will get the new collection out by christmas i really really hope so it's did you guys see that wait where the oh my god Oh my gosh, let me grab some paper. So yeah, hopefully we will get the new collection out by Christmas. I really, really hope so. It's just a matter of time. Like, if everything arrives on time, then we're good. We can do the photo shoots, we can do the product shots, we can do everything that needs to be done to get this online. And I really, really hope that it's, you know, gonna be before Christmas because, yeah, I just really wanna do the second collection before Christmas. So that has been going on. Why does my face look so dry today? I normally really love how this foundation looks on me. I mean, I still love it, but my face is just really, really dry. So I probably should have put like some more moisturizer on or something. Um, And then the second thing that I wanted to tell you guys. So yeah, I told you guys I'm like kind of stressed with everything. So obviously the brand and... I am now also assigned to a management agency, which honestly has been so, so, so amazing. So if you guys didn't know, I used to like do everything myself, like 
message brands, do the invoicing, chase brands, just like all the stuff that, I mean, you kind of do when you work on social media. But I decided to sign with a management company and it has been so amazing so far. My manager is so lovely. Um, and even though I'm not doing everything myself anymore, like I'm not invoicing anymore, I'm not chasing brands every single day, sending out hundreds and <laughs> hundreds of emails every single day, I feel like I'm busier than ever. Like even though I don't have to do all of that stuff anymore, I feel like I just have a lot more work now but like more fun work if that makes sense because I, I really hate like emailing and chasing brands and everything so I now have people that do that for me which is just great but even though I'm not doing all of that I still feel like I have even more work than I did before but this is like the fun kind of work it's like I have more creative work to do now if that makes sense um which is amazing because yeah as I said I don't really like the whole the the other part that isn't creative and it's just boring and yeah I'm just blending out this concealer I just remember that I forgot to put this on. I really wanted to wear this today. Maybe I can still put it on, but this is the Benetint by Benefit. It's like the liquid blush. This has been around for freaking years and years and years. Like I remember watching Bethany Moda <laughs> on YouTube in 2012 and she used to use this like on her cheeks and on her lips. And I've always like been fascinated fascinated by this product but I never really thought about like actually like purchasing it but then when I got it in a PR package the other day I was like okay let me try this out and guys it is amazing so it's I mean I'm I'm sure most of you guys have tried this because I'm freaking late on this but if you have and you really really need to check it out it's it's like a really really sheer blush but you can like build it up and I always I also use this on my lips I'll show you guys in a second when i put it on my lips because i love this it does like when i if i would put it on my cheeks right now it would kind of like rub away the foundation and like the concealer concealer that i just put on so i'm not gonna do that like anywhere on my cheeks right now but i'm gonna show you guys on my lips um so yeah if you use this make sure to use it like before you put anything on so i always do a lot of blush and then i just do my foundation on top and then it's kind of it like shears it out if that makes sense um hold on let me just powder really quickly where is my powder ah oh here i love this powder you guys this powder is freaking insane i don't know why i never like i've never really heard a lot about this powder but this is the beauty beauty bakery flower better not bitter setting powder in the color yellow <clears throat> my gosh that was a long sentence so it's just like a light yellow powder and this amazing it but can't even talk today it brightens your under eyes so much like look at this it is amazing and it makes your like the areas that you put this powder on it makes it look airbrushed and so smooth i don't really like to leave this powder on for too long because it is very very brightening i don't know if you guys can see that so i just like to you know get it off i have also been redoing my room i don't know if you guys i mean if you don't follow me on instagram what are you doing go follow me right now because I do actually have more subscribers on YouTube than I have followers on Instagram. So make sure you guys are following me and you're keeping up with my life. Wait, where's my bronzer? Did I seriously just put it, put it? But as I was saying, I have also been redoing my room, kind of redecorating, painting some stuff, bringing some new fun things into my room. Um, by the way, I am filming all of this for a separate YouTube video. It's gonna be a room transformation video or vlog. And those are literally my favorite type of videos to watch. Like literally anything that has to do with organizing or like 
redecorating or redoing is just my favorite thing ever. I'm gonna give you guys, well, I'm not gonna show you, but I'm gonna talk about what I've been doing to my room. So I painted some stuff on my room. If you guys didn't know, I had a black, <laughs> I had a black wall in my room and did that door just open or was it just like open all the time? I don't know. I'm getting distracted. I, I don't know. But yeah, I had a black wall in my room and I didn't like it. So I painted it white because the plan for my room was to, or well is, to incorporate more white and cream tones. And I just want to make it super, super bright. So the black wall is gonna be white, or well, it is already white. I got a new mirror. This bedding is gonna go, like this is just gonna go because it's too dark for my liking. So everything's gonna be white. Um, I moved some stuff around in my room, but you guys will see that in, oh my gosh, I'm sorry, in the actual video. Um, and then I'm also getting a neon sign for above my bed. Hopefully I will get that next week because I've been waiting for it for a month but because of like COVID and the new restrictions and everything it's just like everything has just been slower and everything has been slowed down which I totally understand. My brows are snatched in place. Guys, this brow gel, if you use this, your brows will stay in place until you're gonna take a freaking shower. Like, I've never, ever, ever used a better brow gel than the Benefit Brow Setter. Oh my gosh, I've been talking so much <clears throat> that <laughs> that my throat literally hurts. Like, I've, I've not talked this much in, like, weeks. So, yeah. Okay, I have to be a little bit more calm. I'm going to use the Benetint on my lips right now, and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. So, I love a good tint on my lips. Even if I'm, like, I wear this when I'm not wearing makeup. I wear this when I am wearing, like, lip makeup, if that makes sense. Like, even if I'm gonna put a lipstick over this later, I still put this on because I feel like it looks better. Okay, and then I'm gonna put it on. It's, like, very, very liquidy. And if you don't blend it out, it's, like, the color is gonna be more intense. It does like kind of smell chemically, I'm being honest, but it's just like a cute little tint. And if you put this on your cheeks, it's gonna look so good, but I'm not gonna do that right now because I know it will ruin my freaking makeup. For my eyes, I'm gonna use this little palette right here. And I've been so obsessed with this little palette. It's from NARS. Hold on, let me get an eyeshadow brush. This is the NARS Copper Palette, and if you are like me and you love warm, orangey shades, this little palette is for you. I took this with me when I went to the UK. Like, it's the perfect small travel size, but it's every single color you need. Wow. By the way, speaking of bringing this me on my travel to the UK, I went to the UK to visit my friends and I had the most amazing time. Let me tell you guys, it was so much freaking fun. Um, a lot of people think that I don't have friends. Well, newsflash, I do actually have friends. <laughs> that sounds so silly saying that, but it's true. Like a lot of people think that I don't have friends and that I just have my boyfriend and my camera that I'm talking to right now, um, which was true. I did only used to have my boyfriend because I cut all of my friendships down because I just wasn't fucking with them anymore. Um, I had like a couple of friends, but I just, you know that feeling when you, instead of growing together, you just grow apart and the friendship is just, gonna you know what i'm talking about <laughs> but yeah i went to visit my friends in the uk and obviously because of covid and everything i hadn't seen them in a really really long time the last time that i saw them was last year in november 
which like literally was almost a year and I hated it so, 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 so freaking much. So I went and visited them and we surprised one of my best friends, her name is Maddie, for her early birthday by me showing up at the freaking like train station. It was the craziest thing ever, like just to see your friends again after a whole freaking year of not seeing them and it was honestly the best time if you guys haven't watched that vlog you definitely should go and watch it it's it's just like that vlog means so much to me because i don't know i just have great friends and it makes me emotional i'm just like quickly gonna do my lip liner right now i'm using um this is the best lip liner brand ever i got this i found it on pretty little thing it was a pack of nude lip liners of the most perfect colors ever and the brand is called peaches and cream hold on let me it came in a pack of these beautiful lip liners i think there was one more it's like just the most perfect nude shades and this one that i'm gonna use today is the peaches and cream punchline lip liner this is like the best lip liner ever hold on let me just apply this and the gloss that i'm going to be using is a gloss that you guys always ask me questions about if this if i'm wearing this gloss i'm getting 20 questions about what i'm wearing on my lips this is the ColourPop lux lip oil in the color bengal bengal i've used it so much that the logo is literally fading off of this And it's so perfect. It's literally so perfect. I'm quickly gonna do liner and lashes off camera because this is looking a little weird with my lipstick on and no liner or lashes. Um, This liner, you guys, the best eyeliner that I've ever used. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Easy Glide Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. This is amazing. I never knew that Too Faced... I mean, I knew that Too Faced did eyeliners. I just never knew that they had a better than sex eyeliner because I also love their better than sex mascara, but I never knew they had this little baby. This, this is just, this is the best. You just need to get this. If you're looking for an eyeliner, you need to get this. <laughs> I just finished applying lashes. Just take a good look. Um, GGB Beauty next collection. You heard it here first. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> But these are just the best lashes that I've ever used. I'm not gonna say any more. The best, most natural, fluffy lashes ever. Ever, ever. I also want to share this with you guys. This is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang 24 Hour Eye Pencil in the color Deep Brown. You guys know I always, always line my waterline with a dark pencil. I usually always use... A black pencil, for example, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Side Eyeliner. I love that one. But this one is just the best one that I've ever used. This color, it's like, it's a brown, but it's still dark enough. But it doesn't look as like super intense as a black pencil would. Because sometimes a black pencil can be just like a little bit too much sometimes. So... Okay, I just applied the pencil. As you guys can see, it's still like very smoky and dark, but it's just not as harsh as a black pencil is. I should have showed you guys this product when I hadn't used it yet because it is so stunning. Like I would, even if the product were shitty, I would buy this for its packaging. Like that's how, <laughs> that's how pretty it is. I'm joking. I would actually not, but it's the Huda Beauty Flora Nymph all over highlighting powder just okay this is the packaging from the outside i mean amazing but the inside i mean come on this is if it's like this is the prettiest makeup product like the prettiest highlight i've ever seen um and it's not only pretty it works amazing so i'm just gonna <laughs> I'm sorry for my excitement. I'm just very excited about this highlighter palette because it's really really good um, And I don't like really want to fuck up like this design So I just like keep tapping in the middle because I I I just don't want to ruin everything, you know, so It is like pretty intense um, 
So just take a little bit. It's pretty intense, but it's a fine highlighter. So it's pigmented, but it's fine glitters. So it's not big and harsh glitters because I'm not a huge fan of that. I know some people are. I mean, just look at that. I'm not even turning to the side. You can see, you can, you can see how freaking gorgeous it is. And my camera doesn't have a smoothing filter over it. So like what you see is what you're gonna get. Um, this highlight is amazing. That is the makeup look complete. I'm just gonna change into a different shirt because yeah, this sweater is gross. And now there is also a foundation stain on it. Love that for me. Okay, guys, I'm finally ready. I'm gonna see my boyfriend in a bit. So I get all cute for him. But yeah, this is... Oh, okay. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Follow me on Instagram as well as my brand, GGB Beauty. We sell 100% vegan and cruelty-free eyelashes. Hint, hint. Next collection. Um, And I'll see you guys back in the next video. Bye.